that's the stuff. Like that jingle right there is like one of the best jingles ever in anything associated with anything. <laughs> I mean, it just brings back so many memories because I got a, I first got a PS One back in Christmas 1996, and back then my favorite games to play on it was Crash Bandicoot One. Were because I was like five, I kept running into uh, the TNTs and spinning them to blow blow Crash up so I could see his uh, desecrated body. It was. I think I had problems when I was a kid, but yeah, like look, look at that Koei logo and the fact they don't do the big, the big thing for the for the Omega Force logo. Yeah, it's interesting. It's actually the first game ever done by Omega Force. Like they were put together just for this game, I believe. But yeah, I, I imagine most people who've heard of Dynasty Warriors would, would be really surprised to find out Dynasty Warriors actually started not as the big hack and slash action brawler that it is now but as a one on one fighting game how mad is that I mean I, I did um, a fan made did you know gaming episode on it and we got like loads of views on that because uh, Shane from did you know gaming the guy who made it all he was kind enough to I think he liked it on YouTube which put, put an automatic tweet through for it about it and everyone was like, oh shit, I should watch it, because he found out about it on his Twitter. And people really liked it. But yeah, so in that I discussed like, the whole backstory behind the game. And uh, what I was planning to do was just do this as a let's play before going into like, a main title, which would have been Dynasty Warriors 8. But with the, the views being like they are, I don't really see much point uh, doing much more for let's plays. I, I so this this will be my, my last one for, at least for a while. There's still there's still things I'd like to do. Like I'd like to do more Sonic games, and I would like to play through some Warriors games like Dynasty Warriors Eight, Samurai Warriors Four, uh, Hyrule Warriors. Really check options. That's what I always do when I start fighting. Game. I put it on easy, and I always like one round, and no time. I, I hmm. I would assume quick. I don't know. Ah, so that, that's what I was thinking of. Also, is where it automatically gets you back into a rematch. Rematch when you choose to continue this. Take it back to so the capsule screen. I don't know what a lot of these are. I mean, I've never actually uh, played this game. I'll ask you uh, information on all the characters. Oh, cool. Even gives you like a bit of a taste of what they're like. Uh, I press circle. Oh. Bit of a lag on that. <laughs> okay, so we'll we'll I, I, I did well. I did play this a little bit to get a tiny little bit of footage for um, that digital game episode, but the footage I got was just uh, yeah. The, the footage I got wasn't much. It was just a brief fight because uh, I was using emulator. It was all laggy. This is a proper copy of the game I got on eBay. So here we have Zhao Yun, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei of Shu, Xiao Dun, Dian Wei. And Shu Chu of uh, Wei. Strangely enough, like we saw Shu Chu in the intro, he was like shirtless. I don't know. You got Zhou Yu, Lu Shu, Tai Shu Tzu of Wu, and Diao Shan of Not Any Kingdom. You have to start with Zhao Yu in every game. Now, I'll, I'll give you an explanation of who each character is, in, in case you're not familiar with the setting. Basically, So basically, uh, yeah, what happened was uh, in, in China they were uh, in the th early third century. Fuck, I don't know the controls. Circle is blocked apparently. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. <laughs> that was a bit embarrassing, but yeah. Basically, what happened was. Um, these three kingdoms rose up, led by these uh, three particular people. Look, I'm in black. And... Yeah, the uh, three kingdoms, they were called, of uh, Wu, Shu, and Wei. So all the characters in this are based on real people. Almost specifically based on the uh, historical novel, Rollins of the Three Kingdoms, which was also based on it. So, and, uh, so it uses those personalities for the characters as the basis. And uh, Zhao Yun is basically one of the best warriors that Shu ever had. 
uh, best known for the Battle of Changban, where he uh, fucking cold callers, I tell you. And they don't answer. Fuck off, fucking robots. But basically, uh, what happened was at the Battle of Changban, um, Zhao Yun's lord, his son, had been left behind. And it's like, oh shit. It, 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 his lord was a, a baby, by the way. It was his lord's son was a baby. So Zhao Yun went back single-handedly and brought the boy back. What's kind of interesting, though, is that, um, most, ver is that most versions go off the Romance of the Three Kingdoms version of the other story, where... Zhao Yun wasn't able to save Liu Bei's wife. Liu Bei being his lord. But in real life he did. I don't understand that. Like the whole novel is basically really just bumming up Shu as like the, the awesome guys. But for some bizarre reason something I just don't understand at all. Uh like the novel just made it that Zhao Yun's not as basically what he did was not as good. I mean it's still impressive that he, he went right through Tao Tao's entire army single handedly to save the baby, but historically he saved the wife as well, you know? So it's just weird that they toned down what Zhao Yun did. Uh, but Zhao Yun's a very popular figure from the era, so he's basically the poster boy for this for this series. So he'll show up on all the covers and uh, be the focus of uh, the intros for every main game. Shit. So, so far I've just been fighting Wu officers. These backgrounds are supposed to be based on various battles. Like, I think this is the Battle of Red Cliffs, which... You should watch the John Wu film, Red Cliffs. There's actually two edits of it. The uh, original Chinese version, which was two, two films. And then the uh, the edited down American version, which uh, cuts out a lot, a lot of the bullshit. makes it a much simpler one. I mean, I'd say, I'd say you probably track down that one first, if you're not sure about watching it. But, yeah. But basically, um, fuck. It's a fuck. It, I'll just, I'll just see if I can complete, complete it as anyone. I'll be Guan Yu. Uh, so the characters have been fighting, fighting so far. Zhou Yu was like the first main strategist for Wu. Uh, and like, and he's like the best friend of uh, Wu's uh, founder's older brother. Who previously ruled those forces and territories? Tai Shi Tzu was a was a, like, a, was quite close to uh, that lord as well, Sun Tzu. Uh, Lu Xun, meanwhile, was um, a uh, oh perfect because Guan Yu's just amazing. But Lu Xun, yeah, he basically succeeded Zhou Yu down the line as like the main strategist for Wu for a good few years. Yeah, Wu went through a lot of strategists. Like, they went through like four in quick succession because they all kept dying. Not even from battles, they just died of illness usually. So, where did I find Diao Chan? I mean, I, I assume she's random there. But yeah, Diao Chan, she, she had an interesting role in, in the story. She, she's, not, she's not even real, apparently. She just made up for Romance of the Three Kings where she was uh, sent by her adopted father, who was real, in a plot to uh, get rid of the tyrant Dong Zhua by turning his uh, adopted son Lu Bu against him. But yeah, she, she, she has some uh, interesting character bits herself. And they got Guan Yu, who, who's like, like, meant to be the best warrior Shu ever had. Probably the best warrior in the entire era. To the point that he's, he's worshipped as a god of war. Even today. I mean, that's amazing, that. And uh, yeah, that, that that beard. Every version, of, every version of him will have this beard and this weapon. Because that's what he had in real life. He's apparently even known as Guan Yu of the Magnificent Beard. His weapon is called Blue Dragon or Green Dragon because apparently back then, blue and green were considered the same colour. And Shao Dun is um, very powerful apparently. He's the uh, cousin of, of uh, Wei's founder, Cao Cao. And he's um, a faithful general. And, he's, and, and the games also make him up to be like Guan Yu's rival. He's kind of the poster boy for... Um, he kind of became the poster boy for Wei. While Joe used a poster boy for uh, Wu. So it'll be Jiang Fei. I don't know how many of these voice actors stuck around. I think most of them did. Like, even by Dynasty Warriors 8, it's mostly the same cast. 
uh, yeah, it's, uh, kind of to make it easier to figure out uh, who's on what faction. Since then, all the characters have uh, switched to uh, uniform colours for the factions. So all the sh all the shoe characters were green. The uh, Wu characters were red. We was blue. So you won't see Shao doing rocking uh, this bright orange outfit. Although he, he uh, does tend to have yellow in his outfits in addition to blue. Damn it! Why is he so powerful? Uh, I'll be the end way. Yeah, so basically, I'm gonna. Um, I was gonna. I was planning to do like uh, go through as every character. Uh, probably not. I'll just do this like, as, as like a one shot because, as you can tell, I'm not very good at the game. Uh, I can't. I can't really do a whole lot myself. Uh, I'm not very good at the game. Clearly, I think I think I need a bit of practice. I probably should have gone easiest uh, from the first playthrough. Damn it! But yeah, Dian Wei was uh, is Cao Cao's faithful bodyguard, and he and Xiao Dun even have the same voice actor in, in Japanese, even here. And the same guy voices uh, Date Masamune in Sengoku Basura, and he's another guy with who's cool and has one eye. I'm really considering doing like a list of like the top 10 or top 5 uh, video game characters with one eye. But since got that bloody Halo review finished. And the whole Let's Play thing has kind of gotten in the way of that. Because of how much. Because when, when I'm uh, rendering a video, uh, the computer go, uh, basically can't do a whole lot else. It's kind of slow while, while rendering. So I'm kind of uh, limited in my options. So I, I can't really edit while I'm rendering the videos. Why why takes long to fucking get up? Christ! Nobody's beating me. That saved me, didn't it? Shu Chu is uh, another of Tao Tao's bodyguards. Uh I don't know why he's he's he's, he's using he's often made out to be kind of fat. And then this is also kind of stupid. So I think the problem here is I'm, I'm being slow characters. I think I need someone faster. Luckily, Joe Yu kind of works for that, at least in the main game, because basically the, the way they went with it was you have the, the poster boy for each kingdom, uh, and they're all like kind of average in terms of stats. You have you have uh, they're all like pretty average in stats, but in order to make them a bit more different from each other, they made Joe Yu into um, one who's slightly faster, Xiao Dun is slightly stronger, and Zhao Yun is the uh, the middle ground of the middle ground character. So the uh, Instead of being the jack of all stats, he's the jack of all jacks, as, as uh, someone on TV Chops once put, once put it. And why is Shao Doom kicking my ass so badly? Jesus. Take this. So is that like a counter button or something? Fuck it, I need to check the manual, I'm gone. Okay, so look, look, look through the manual. I really should have done that to begin with, but yeah, it's, a, it's a really slow, more methodical. Almost like something like, say, Bushido Blade, only you don't die instantly. So yeah, basically you have... Uh, basically, the, the, instead of having like, combos, it's really just a few attacks to, to send them by uh, input. Yeah. Damn it. Fucking hell! Why is this guy so hard? It's only Shao Doon! Not it's not fucking Guan Yu or some shit. Fuck it, I'll be Shao Doon. See if that helps. Cause at least no other characters can't be worse than Shao Doon, if I am Shao Doon. Fuck! And they've also figured out how to do, how to do the Muso attacks. Because even even back then they still called them Muso attacks. No, f no, stop it! And that's how it works. 
I do find the idea that yeah, when you fill your fill your super gauge, you have to use it within a certain time to uh, to not lose it. I do find that interesting at least. So basically, I just try getting a Muso in there. If I can't get a Muso in, I'm fucked. Shahodun versus Dian Wei. Yeah, each kingdom also has an extra unlockable character as well. Shu gets his strategist, Zhuge Liang, who's obviously the best strategist because, well, that's how it's presented in Romance of Three Kingdoms, which bones up Shu. Wei gets its founder, Cao Cao. Wu gets um, the younger sister of Wu's founder, Sun Shang Xiang. The founder himself wouldn't show up until Dynasty Warriors 2. Uh, you can also unlock the final boss. Get up! And also, uh, you can also unlock, for whatever reason, Oda Nobunaga. I think the I think it's because at the time Koi also had a uh, uh, Nobunaga's ambition, a strategy series going on. So it's meant to be a reference to that. It also makes like a cartoon version of Toyotomi Hideyoshi as well. It's weird. Um. Yeah, and he also not the final boss. Who, if you're all familiar with the uh, the Three Kingdoms setting, who that is should be obvious. I just wonder how the series would have progressed. I, what would happen? What happened with Dynasty Warriors? Had they not changed it up? Like, had they had they stuck with the what they're going for here with the fighting game? Would the series have even continued on? I think that's an interesting thing to consider. Like it's entirely possible the series would have just ended ended with this because the reason they changed it was because there were a lot of fighting games coming out at the time. So, it's entirely possible that the series might have just died there and then after this. Oh, Tao Tao, yeah. But yeah, the, the series could have, could have just died. Final round. You never know. Which would have been a shame. And I, I imagine that, I imagine that, uh, um, if, if, I don't know, I, I feel like they probably wouldn't have done Samurai Warriors if the series hadn't changed uh, genre, I imagine uh, stuff like Sengoku Basura would probably not exist. Hell, it's entirely possible that uh, that Capcom might have hit on the idea of a, a single Quera fighting game before Koya would have. You never know. It's interesting to consider, but I feel like overall the series would not have lasted because it offered something unique back then. And here we go, the final boss, Lubo. And he's like the Bigard bastard, who was, like I mentioned, was um, Dong Hua's adopted son. It's funny because uh, in Dynasty Warriors 7, the, the, the way story mode actually has uh, Shao Doon be the one who defeats Lu Bu. And it's funny because uh, in Dynasty Warriors 7, that's when they started into having uh, Shao Doon start off with both eyes. Yeah, he actually started with, with uh, both eyes, and then he loses his eye, and then straight away goes into battle against Lu Bu. And, well, he goes right into battle against Lubu and still wins despite the new lack of death perception. Presumably being agony from losing his eye. He's just an hard bastard. Tie shirt, sir. Uh... <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Yeah, Lubu normally has his badass theme. And it's just this, it's just, it's just this awesome theme where he's just... Where, that's usually also the the, uh, the main theme of the of the uh, each game. Uh, but it's funny because uh, uh, since like seven, they started doing um, image songs. If you're not familiar with what they are, it's uh, basically it's it's common usually with anime series where they'll do these uh, songs with the actual voice actors singing, and it's like from the character's perspective. Sometimes they'll do like duet versions where it's like two characters singing together, which I think are better generally in, in concept. But uh, yeah, Lou Boo's was just awesome. Lou Boo's uh, image song is just brilliant. It's basically just his, his, his in-game theme from Dynasty Warriors 7, with his voice actor just shouting over it. It's awesome. But yeah, so this game has endings. It doesn't relate to the story, sadly. I think it's just sort of some random goofy shit. It's a rock. 
Now this course looks really bad on my end because you know obviously I'm using the um, an HDMI converter so I can record. But I did notice that uh, DOAX looked way worse on here than it did in the uh, than it did in the recording. So who knows? But yeah, that's it. It's like it's even worse than stuff you'd seen in Tekken. Oh no, not one of these overly long input things. Eh. I don't know why it's always like just putting your initials like, and I, and I, I kind of annoy me because I don't really have a three letter initial. My brother can could, could always just put Daz. No, he can just go. No, his name's Darren. He can just put D A Z. Boom, that's it. I, I had to put Jam. Could have put T four S for the first name, but that would just been silly. Um, I'm not sure how you unlock the other characters. I think you have to beat it as the three characters from that kingdom. So if I beat it now as uh, Joe Yu and Tai Shirt, I mean, Joe Yu as Lu Shun, and then I'd get the other Wu characters soon, Shang Xiang. I think that's how it works. I'll, I'll have to do a. I'll, I'll, I'll do one battle as Diao Chan. Just to kind of show off what she's like. I'll probably lose. But yeah, so. Like I said, this may well be the uh, the end of... Uh, damn it. Damn it. This may well be the, the end of uh, my Let's Plays. Well, not, not forever, but I'm certainly going to be uh, doing a lot less of them. And... Uh, yeah, it's going to be coming a lot, sl a lot slower. Because I still want to do stuff like... I still want to do the Sonic games. I mean, I bought some Sonic games, like... Secret Rings and Black Knight. Well, not Black Knight, yeah, but what like Secret Rings? Primarily to let's play them, because I've never played them before. Get up, dumb bitch. And he dies, yeah, mate. And on that awesome note, I leave you here. Not forever, no. If the views pick up, I'll definitely come back to do more let's plays. But otherwise, no. It's not worth it. Peace.